I got a birthday coming up. You know what? Every time I have a birthday, it kind of amazes me. So I was pretty wild when I was younger, and uh, I never thought I was going to live this long. Surprise, Vega! <laughs> Wish I'd known I was going to live this long. I would have saved some money. <laughs> yeah, who knew? Who knew? Of course, weirdly enough, I'm finding there are certain benefits to being broke. You know, like that whole economic downturn thing we went through uh, didn't really affect me at all. I'm like, what's all the hullabaloo? I think I lost like $9. I'm like, that's not... But then you see these people being interviewed on the news going, I lost $800,000. I'm like, well, that's what you get for having so much money. <laughs> these are hot dogs and these are ramen noodles. <laughs> Enjoy your stew, sir. Enjoy your stew. Because rich people don't know anything about ramen. I'm like, ramen noodles, what are they? Uh, they're 10 for a dollar. <laughs> That's all you really know, sir, they're 10 for a buck. And you get a whole week's worth of uh, sodium in every serving. <laughs> That's some hard pony nutrition for a dime, sir. And I may live a long time, have a lot of longevity in my family. All my grandparents made it into their late 90s. My dad's folks were married, made it 75 years, so they were married, 75th anniversary. Yeah. Weird thing is, last couple of years, I couldn't even tell them apart anymore. <laughs> oh man, that's how long they lived. They looked exactly the same. <laughs> I mean, you can tell my grandfather eventually, because he'd always tell you the same thing. You know something? Your grandmother looks the same now as she did the day I met her. <laughs> She must have been a brutal looking 18 year old. <laughs> Obviously she was the one buying the beer. <laughs> and my dad, my dad has a friend, him and his wife have been married 60 years, 60 years, and they're going through a divorce. Yeah, I'm like, come on. How do you make it through 60 years of marriage and finally go, that's it, I'm out of here. <laughs> Match.com, here I come. <laughs> Get stupider. Like, you ever done, done this? You ever vacuum the house and run over a paper clip or a bobby pin or something like that about a thousand times? And the machine won't pick it up and you're just, and you won't bend over, pick it up and just throw it away? You're like, bend over, pick it up, and try in a different spot. There you go! I don't know who you think you're dealing with up here. I got a college education. There it is. I win! Ha! $186. That's what it costs to have it taken out of the motor. Hey, sometimes you gotta pay for your principles, you know? It's like a washer egg somebody brought from the house, doesn't it? <laughs> so, didn't see my family over Christmas last year because of COVID. And you know, honestly, it was just as well, because my brothers are still giving me a hard time about my Christmas gift selection from the year before. Because there's six kids in my family, and everybody's married and has children. So there's like 30 people I have to buy gifts for. So that year, I tried something different, and I did all my shopping over at Dollar General. Oh, you should see how much you can buy at that store for $300. I had to make two trips with a car. That's how much I bought. It was unreal. Man, I walked into my mom and dad's on Christmas morning. I got trash bags full of presents. And I'm like, I got 10 gifts per person. And then my brother starts opening up his stuff, and he's like, a thousand mini stables. <laughs> You're an idiot. I don't even have a mini stapler. I'm like, dude, open up the blue box. <laughs> Got you covered, bro. <laughs> yeah, you know, I'm growing up in a big family. You know, Tell me, the old. Anybody big families? Five, six, seven, eight kids? Pop all of you. He doesn't seem very happy about it, man. He's had his arm crossed the whole time. 
Yeah, go ahead and crack your jokes, buddy. But I'm not going to you. There was this little smile there because I brought it up because he's got his big tennis shoes on. So big tennis shoes with his beard. I'm an outdoorsy guy, but I can adjust to other situations as well. 